Hi everyone, it's Kim here. I am doing another card with the Operation Right Home uh, fundraiser Hero Heart Arts, Hero Hearts, geez, um, stamp set. And this one I'm going to do is this little squirrel. I'm not going to do any paper, pierce, uh, paper piecing. I'm going to do Copic marking, markering. Copic markering. Hmm, I just made up another word. All right, so we're going to color the squirrel first and just kind of grabbing at my browns and my neutrals. Then I can decide what I want to do. Oh, let's go for the, we'll start out with the E13. Now one of these is, oops, one of these is drying out. So let's see what we've got going here. I am going to use the Big Shot after I'm done um, doing my Copic markers. So the E13 is the lighter of the what the browns that I have and I suspect that this might be the one that is starting to dry out. However, I am just using basic cardstock. <laughs> I got a text message. Sorry about that. <laughs> you guys are like part of my life, I tell you. My videos have the phone ringing, the dogs barking, text messages. Um, yeah, so welcome to my life. All right, now I'm gonna grab this other E13 and just see if there's a difference. Um, I, like I said, I'm not using Copic paper, it's just regular cardstock. So we'll go down here to this one. Oh yeah, it's that one. See how much smoother that is? I'm going to go back up and to that little guy up there and try to get him, his lines a little bit more smooth. Okay, let's go ahead and do his body. I went on his eye there, so I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and then I'll go back with my blending pen. do his ears. The blending pen is kind of like what I call the eraser. It's the, is it there a movie or a show that's called the eraser? Gosh, I don't know. I have my favorite shows that I watch, but I'm not a big TV watcher person. It's just boring to me. I'd rather be doing cards. All right, so let's go to the next one. Not E25, but E15. And get in some shadowing here. What we're gonna do is ears. Oh, let's bring it in up here. I know that there are rules as far as uh, light sourcing and um, colors that you match up with your Copic markers. And I did take a Copic marker class. However, once I started doing it, I kind of just forgot like what goes where and light sourcing what. And so I just go with the flow. I love, love to color. I've said that in my videos before. Go ahead and do his feet a little darker and I think I'll go in with the E25 on his feet as well. Sometimes um, you know you have to be careful you can't do like complete opposite with colors that would not look right. Okay again with my E13 and if I do little circles gets rid of those lines. That's not what I learned in my Copic marker class. But yet you still have that darker color where you're shadowing. Now I'm going to do something silly here but I think it'll look all right. I'm going to go ahead and 
color in his acorn like a you know pinkish or a reddish because the sentiment for this little guy says I'm nuts about you so okay so that's E13 E27 E29 okay we're gonna go E27 for his feet And kind of do some blending with that and kind of seeing some lines I'm trying to get rid of those gosh I almost like that E27 enough that I might do a little bit right here now this video is mostly watching me Copic mark because the card part that I'm putting together is quick, real quick. Okay, a little bit more blending. Bringing that E27 in just a little. And I'm thinking that this little mistake right there is probably dry. So, trying to find my, there it is. This is the zero. And you just put it on that color and you stroke it outward and ta-da, it disappears. All right, so let's pick this up and I'm gonna take my cutie little patootie guys over to my big shot and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my little guy cut out. I'm using the die cut here from the little frames that, um, it doesn't come with the stamp that you have to buy it separately, but that it matches with it. And I'm just looking at this guy and what I did off camera, I was like, oh gosh, that's right, I'm doing a video. As I took this E00 and I kind of colored in his eye a little bit. I, I didn't want it to be like, wow, he's got pink eyes, but the white just wasn't doing it for me. I am gonna leave his teeth white, however. Now, I was looking at my roses and my pinks and stuff. This is the R29 and um, that's a little dark for what I wanna do with the um, little um, acorn he has in his hand. So I think I'm going to do maybe the R43. Yeah, I want it to be light. I want you to be able to see the um, ink in that little acorn. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm not going to worry about shadowing it. I'm just going to make it pink. You know, like it's a little pink heart that the little guy's giving you. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and put our cards together. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to stamp out some clouds. And I'm using um, this avocado art stamp set. Oh, I think it's, where did I put it? Um, I can't, oh, here it is. <laughs> She's sunshine and smiles. And it's got this really nice um, solid cloud on it. So, you know, I'm crossing my fingers that this white Versa mark hasn't completely dried out. Now, I don't want it to be like a real bright, bright cloud. You know, I want it to be kind of um, a background cloud. So, it's going to be okay if it's not as dark as I want it, or that it should be. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Something real subtle, because the tree is in the squirrel is what I want to have its attention. Put that up there. And one right there. Okay, set that aside. I'm also going to put the sentiment right there. I can do that right now, actually. I just have my memento blackout, so I'm going to use that. Just looking to make sure I don't have any ink on that, which I see I do. And there. Just gonna wipe that down. I'm gonna ink it one more time. Perfect. Okay. Now, my tree. 
this tree is from Wild Card Cricut Cartridge, and I cut it at um, three and a half. And the leaves go behind the little trunk there. So we're going to put that on, I think. I've been um, doing a lot of card making today. This is, it's a Sunday and because um, I know what my week is going to be like so I want to go ahead and get some stuff done now while the house is quiet. But uh, what happens is when I do this, I don't necessarily clean up after myself for each video and so my desk is getting kind of piled with stuff. So that goes like that. Isn't that cute? We're going to put that over to the side there and then we're going to put our little squirrel right next to it. See that? Real simple. A cute, simple character kind of card. Um, the, if you guys ever use the clear Tombow, I think they call it Aqua, be really careful with it because, well, I don't know if yours does this, but mine squirts out really, really fast and this does not dry clear. It dries shiny. So if you get it somewhere on your card or it squirts out someplace, it's going to show. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I want to pop that guy up a little bit. I guess it'd be okay. Um, no, because I don't have my yes, I do. Here we go. Since he's the main character of the card, the main focus, I have this one for my second card over here, so I'm going to put that on for him, and then. Pop this one up as well. And I don't want him up in the air. <laughs> I do that quite often. Put my little characters up in the air. So that's it. Oh, you know what? I just thought of a really cute idea. Hang in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and do some faux stitching on these clouds. Kind of, you can see them a little better. In the beginning, I was like, oh, you don't want to see the clouds, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm like, oh, you need to see the clouds. The stamp actually has kind of a stitch to it, but you can't really see it. So I'm going to just follow their lead on that design. Okay, that looks good. All right, that's my cute little I'm Nuts About You card. There you go. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.